The Dow surfing its worst month in two years, even though optimism continues to run high. Also, this as the world's top preeminent wealth advisors and industry leaders gather in Las Vegas at the Forbes Shook Conference this week. One of those legendary investors and the conference, uh, one of the speakers, joins us now in the Fox Business exclusive. Bill Miller, the Miller Value Partners Chairman and CIO. Bill, thanks for joining the show. Uh, great to be on. Thank you. It's great to have you. Obviously, you've seen these, you've seen every kind of market out there, but a lot of people haven't seen this kind of market, this renewed volatility. And people are concerned. They're concerned about the role of, of machines. They're concerned about what the Federal Reserve is going to do. And they're concerned just in general about where debt is. I mean, how, how many of those are valid concerns for you right now? Well, I'd I back up and say I think well, you made a great point when many of the people in the markets haven't seen the market, this kind of market before. Um, the, the, an analyst named Charlie Ellis made a great point years ago when he said the reason we study market history is to protect our portfolios from ourselves, so to get a broader perspective, in other words. So I think there's always some issue de jour, especially when the market sells off. We've gone a long time without a 10 percent correction we just had, and this is just part of the normal ebb and flow of the markets. The economy's fine, inflation's low, interest rates are low, corporate profitability is fine. So this is just psychology uh, washing back and forth. Let's talk about a big bet that uh, you're making, and it might, might have surprised some people. Bitcoin, uh, you think it's going to be a big winner? Well, you know, I'm actually, we own Bitcoin in some, in some client accounts, and uh, we put it in a, a particular in a hedge fund that we have last year at a 5% position, and uh, it, it became a 50% position because it went up so much. But I'm not a Bitcoin evangelist. I'm not even necessarily a Bitcoin believer. I am a Bitcoin observer, and what I observe with Bitcoin is it's following a very um, time-honored path of disruptive innovation, going all the way back to the printing press, railroads, electricity, radio in the 1920s, biotech, the internet. So, and you, you see the same thing over and over again, which is a, a, a great welling up of psychological, a great welling up of, of enthusiasm and people talking about bubbles, but bubbles are necessary to bring capital into the market to see if these innovations are actually uh, going to stand. But there's a great book called The... Um, <laughs> Uh, the Path of uh, Innovation by Ev Rogers, The Diffusion of Innovation by Ev Rogers that I would recommend okay. that everybody read. Well, Bill, I got to tell you, all the things that you just named changed the, the course and arc of mankind and history, so maybe Bitcoin will be the real thing. Bill, we had a lot of breaking news. I want to say thank you very much. Hope we can get you back on real soon.